Good morning, we are at Kilbear Provincial Park and we are going for a hike on the Lookout Point Trail. It's 3.5 kilometers long. It's gonna take us out to a um, cliff lookout kind of view and we're going to go and check it out. There should be lots of forest views and uh, lots of different trees and such. And we started on a boardwalk. It's a beautiful morning, but it is going to be a hot day. It's just after nine o'clock in the morning. I was already up this morning um, doing some video of the sunset from our campsite, which was beautiful. Although 6.15 and it was not early enough. I'm going to have to try to get up earlier tomorrow and catch the actual beginning of the sunset. Or sorry, the sunrise. Maybe that's why I was so late. It was because it was a sunrise instead of sunset. <laughs> Anyway, we have a great site here at Kilbear, even though there's no electricity and there's already people coming up behind us, I think. Maybe, maybe not. We got some building materials out here. Listen to the crickets. Let's try to keep some forward momentum, little girl. the lookout part of the lookout trail. Yes, we have done this one before. Many years ago, we we haven't decided whether it was uh, six or seven years ago, we came here with uh, our other dog, Maya, and walked this trail. So if you're interested in seeing some photographs of this trail back then, check out our blog at naturelover.ca and keyword in Kill Bear and uh, Lookout Trail. Maybe I'll go back and look at my pictures too to see if it's changed. I saw the deer. Okay, wait, close, close. Shh, 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 shh. I still see the. It's right there. Yeah, it's really, really far out. You can see. Uh, Chitra and Chloe just spotted a deer and a fawn. I can actually still see her um, white tail flashing. Chloe knows exactly where they are. Lots of the shield expo exposed here. It's really beautiful, but keep in mind that if it is wet, it'll be slippery. So we're very lucky this morning. It's nice and dry and actually providing some traction.
So the trail is very easy to follow. Good markings, yellow um, trail markers, but the trail itself is well uh, established, except when you're walking over the large sections of um, Canadian Shield. And then sometimes they'll put marks on the rock. So if you're going across a, a, a space and there aren't any trees or anything like that, and you're looking for the markers, look on the rock. We find that in places like Killarney and that, parks like that. Oh, and Grundy, yeah. Grundy Lake uh, Provincial Park also has large sections of the trail that are over rock, so it's hard to tell where it goes and they don't have any trees. Or, or sometimes they'll just put a post up if they have to. Well, there's a view for you. There's a beautiful view of Parry Sound. Once you get to the top here, definitely worth getting here early, especially if it's going to be a hot day. We're here and it is. It's um, it's just after 10, it's already hot. It's going to be 33 degrees with humidity today. So I wouldn't want to be up here in the middle of the day. There's a picnic table if you want to have a picnic. Otherwise, um, we like to bring our Thermarest uh, seat pads so you can sit just about anywhere. Lots of places up here for you to have a little privacy and find your little spot and there's even a little bit of shade. Check out this view. So we did not linger at the lookout. It was quite hot up there. The sun was radiating off of the rocks. So we're going to walk back into the forest and have our snack. As per usual, Chloe is leading the way in a trot right up until the point that she decides to stop and not want to lead the way. We are back at the beginning of the trail, back on the boardwalk. Lots of different uh, terrain to walk on. Some flat, soft forest floor, hard Canadian shield, boardwalks, and more. <laughs> you got your forest, you got your lookouts, you got your water. No access to the water, so don't expect to go for a dip at the end of this, or at the uh, lookout there. And uh, bring some water if it's a hot day. You can even bring a picnic because there is a picnic table or lots of places to sit on rocks and have a picnic with your, your friend or your family or your puppy, whoever you brought with you. So it was a great trail. It is the longest um, trail, not including the... What's that trail that they have that goes just kind of beside the road for walking and biking? Yeah, so there's a bike path or a walking 
and it, you can go quite a ways on that walking or biking. So definitely a great park if you want to do biking too and lots of water obviously so people have canoes and kayaks and sups and boats and more. Conveniently located outside of Parry Sound. <laughs> if you need supplies. So we're going to finish up this trail, probably go back and have some lunch and then head over to the Kilbear Park Mall, is what it's called I believe, where they rent canoes. We have to pick it up. 24 hour rental in 2021 is $34.95 plus tax and that includes your life preservers, paddles and emergency kit I imagine. So we'll grab that and bring it back and have that until we leave tomorrow. So Trisha from Nature Lover Canada, thanks for watching.